Here we are, boys. New season, new tactic, new Bilbao. Everything's coming together. One massive transfer in, one massive transfer out. Let's dive into it and see where we are at. Also, new merch. <laughs> Alright boys, welcome back to the channel. Now, first things first, make sure you smash a like on today's video, that'll be muchly appreciated. Let's me know that you're still enjoying the series. Second thing, yeah, we've got some merch now. I'm not making any money off these. I've sold some to the lads in the Discord and some Patreons. If you're interested in one, because a few people have mentioned on Twitter, hit me up. I've actually got two left as time of recording. I've got an extra large men's and one in small men's left. Both £25, including delivery. If you're interested, let me know down in the comments. We can order more in as well for different sizes, so let me know. Now, weekend's episode, we had that decision to make about, do we sell Simon? And we had an interesting, interesting chat about it. Matthew Hughes popped up in the previous videos and said, get rid of him. And today, here he is again. Hope I didn't upset the fan base when I suggested to get rid of the goalkeeper. Uh, very happy to feature in the video, pal. And then down also in the comments, Dan Joel, who also said best series ever, by the way. So I appreciate that. But also put, no, no way should you let go of the goalkeeper. He is your best player, not with two years left on his deal, possibly in a year if he won't sign a deal. Now, Dan... Hopefully, after you've seen the decisions that I've made, hopefully, you will still find this the best series ever. Because Simon has gone. £46 million has gone to Juventus. Was it 46? Yep. Yeah. And as we said, we did have a young goalkeeper waiting in the wings. But the main reason why we sold him was so we could get in Iso Dominguez. The young wonder kid he was classed at. We've had to pay all of his release clause of 55 million, which compared before that, I think my biggest transfer fee was about 7 million. Um, yeah, this is a big one. Obviously, he's got a lot of work still to do, but 20 years old, we I'd put a couple of bids in. They kept sort of like saying no, and then Hertha Berlin came in, wallop. 55 million release clause. So I had to do the same. Luckily, he only wanted 40 grand a week. So I offered him 96 just to make sure that we got him. We can afford it with wages and stuff. So that wasn't a problem. Um, he started okay. We've played two league games. Um, but yeah, things are going all right so far. Now, in the last episode... Oh, that's it. That's it for the transfers, by the way. One in, one out. That's it. Couple of loans out. That's it. Job done. Um... We have been rocking with a Trequatista. I'm just trying to get the best out of Dominguez. But what I'm thinking of now, the Trequatista is an interesting role because I'll show you now when we play Granada how it works. But at the moment, I was expecting him to drop into these areas a little bit more. And when we're sort of like without possession, I was expecting him to drop in naturally and he doesn't. He stays really high and he doesn't start to drift when the ball when the ball goes into sort of like into our half and, and we're, we're sort of like in the final third. So I'm starting to think, do we play that as a deep line play, a deep line forward on support just so he drops in a little bit? But I think for now, we've started pre-season well. We ended the season pretty well as well, as well, as well, as well. Um, so I don't want to rock the boat too much. Next thing as well is what to do with Dominguez. Started him as an inside forward. Hasn't done amazing. We've just put him on to inside in, uh, Inverted winger to see if that makes a little bit of a difference. Uh, and that's it. Pacheco, who we were planning on playing up there as a striker, has, has dropped out to Serrano, who started the season pretty well for us. I think naturally with in time, Munayin will, will, will sort of like fade out and we'll put Serrano in there and probably then play Pacheco up there. Obviously, we've still got Juan Fuerte coming through the youth system and now he's a fully fledged member of the first team, along with another Patreon Pedro Bergersa, he is our new number one, started the season very well in terms of average rating, he looks, I think, tremendous, only 20 years old, he's only valued at 1.7, he's just, we've just signed him a new deal, but look at his goalkeeping, already on the ups, we want to get these, I think a majority of these are going to push into the 15s and 16s, um, which would be tremendous, 6 foot 3 as well, techniques not bad, 7, uh, physical's pretty good, so yeah, really chuffed that. I think, I think I've made the right decision. Obviously, Dan won't agree, but everyone else, let me know down in the comments what D 
do you think I've made the right decision? Okay. Season, so far, we've started 2-0 away at Alaves. Yerai and Inaki Williams, 4 minutes and 12 minutes. And then Osasuna, 4-0. Inaki Williams getting 2. He started the season really, really well. And Munayin has also started the season really, really well. So what, I'm going to show you as well the goals from this game. Because I'm sure, we have played this for a few days, but I'm sure Munayin's goals were absolute crackers. Oh yeah, free kick. No, nope. Williams taps it in the rebound from a money in free kick. Here's Munayin again. Linking with Nunez, the right back. Sanche, Munayin, Williams again. Poacher, that's two tappings he's had, which is good. Hopefully we can get loads of goals out of him. Here we go, Munayin. Beautiful free kick. 3-0, and I'm pretty sure the fourth one, he absolutely smashes it. Williams into Munayin. Nice little gives and goes. Nice and patient. Out of his feet. Wallop into the top corner. 4-0 against Osasuna. We've kind of played two of our rivals there. Two teams that we would maybe expect to beat, but we've had a really good performance away from home 2-0 and then a really good dominant home performance. We've got Granada, who finished above us last season, but we are top of the league. It's only two games, isn't it? Um, but, yeah, confidence is, is, is high. The confidence in the boardroom isn't as high. Uh, still a C. Last season's disappointment. I still freshen our memories. <laughs> okay. Just chill out. We're going to be fine. No Europa League as well. They want us to qualify from it this year. I think, yeah, we, we, we need to be aiming for that. Job situation is stable. The other thing, noticeable thing we've done, I've brought in Unai Sola, a player that we bought a couple of years ago or a year ago from Osasuna, 2.1 million. He's coming and played a game for us. Very, very good. He has got a deal running out at the end of the season. Barcelona have come sniffing and put a couple of bids in. They've disappeared. I'm just going to try and play him now over the next few weeks to try and get him happy enough so then we can offer him a new deal because obviously centre-half is another position where we're not great at in maybe three or four years' time when, when Martinez definitely goes and Yerai and Nunes sort of like go over the edge. We need that new commanding centre-half. This guy is it. We need to offer him the earth if we get the opportunity. Right, here we are. Um, just remembered, we've made some staff changes and some big staff changes. I thought we need to... Just freshen it up a bit. Um, and we've done that. First of all, uh, new assistant manager, Nelson Vivas. Uh, kind of one of Simeone's boys, obviously, from Atletico Madrid. Got him in. Defending good, mentals good, working with youngsters good, man management motivating a very good assistant manager. So got him in through the door. We've gone away from the Spanish only just because we need to just get the best, the best for the job. And that included... Steven Gerrard in first team, first team coach, tremendous mentals, very good coach as well. We've also shaken things up with Brian Klug, another coach from England this time, but once again, absolutely tremendous. And Matthew Wells, another English coach uh, from Tottenham and then Fulham, very good. Obviously, I think I need someone to do like mental uh, possession, I think, possession tactical or something like that. So he has come in, very good coach. Uh, Christian Speakman. Money many boys, you'll know he's like a Birmingham starts Birmingham head of youth development. He's now our under 19s manager, and we've also got a club legend. I talk Karanka. I should have really made him assistant manager, but he was happy being an uh, under 19s coach. So we've got him in under 19s coach. He started at Bilbao, and he also had a, then another in two spells. He'd also had another uh, what four seven seven years no seven yeah eight years with the club. So yeah, a bit of a Bit of a not a club legend, but he'll he'll be up there. He'll be well liked. Maybe a potential for him to be an assistant manager at some point. I just fancied getting Nelson Vivas in because it's Nelson Vivas. So there we go. Let's get into the game. We've got a little injury. We've got an injury to Munayin. He is out. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Serrano over to the right, and then we're going to go. I was going to go Pacheco, but you want to see Juan Forte, don't you? He's already looked two and a half star for a lot of the stuff. Uh, up front is I was depending whether to change it, but his flares good off the balls, good visions, good techniques, good passes, not great, but dribbling and stuff. So we'll just see, and then it'll be interesting to see how you guys see what I see in terms of, of what the Trecotista does. Ortega is I forgot to mention as well. Ander Ortega, Anders is one of my patrons. His his player has come on pretty well. We've offered him a new deal, just sitting there and, and kick people, mate. And at the moment, he's doing a pretty good job. And links to the Patreon down below if you're interested in supporting the channel and getting yourself in the game as one of the tasty regions that we get every single year. 
all in the links down below. But here we go. Two out of two for us. Granada had a very good season last year, as we said. They've got where on the left. I didn't look where they where they were in the league, actually. How they'd started. Let's have a very quick look at the league. Uh, they are... Okay, 1-1, one, one, lost one. Okay, here we go. First highlight within a minute. Bogdan. I'm really worried that I haven't played this game for two days. And all that we did in pre-season, because I did pre-season in the first two games of the season in one sort of like little, little session... And you know what it's like when you turn the computer off and turn it back on. It just, just changes everything, doesn't it? We're, we're here again, boys. Welcome back. Welcome back to Basque Nothing. What kind of a tackle was that? They're having to check it. How on earth they're having to check it? Fucking Jesus. Right, Pedro Bagosa. Already a chance to make something of yourself here. Timothy Weyer steps up. He saves it. Get in. Pedro Bagosa, the youngster. Stretches out to his left. We've had a reprieve. Let's demand more. Oh my God. What a start we've had to the game. It's a brilliant save as well. Right, Cordoba. And Rotega. Right, where's one forward save? He's there. Let's keep me on. He goes high. He just drop in a little bit. He's dropping in to receive a little bit there. Serrano, but then he does get in the box. Nunes. Cross, Dominguez is there, yes, yes, he's first for the club, buzzing, 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 lovely football, Dominguez starting to move as well, out to Serrano, it back to Nunes, he's made up for it with a delicious cross and Dominguez finishes brilliantly at the back stick, obviously 55 million is a lot of money but it's what we've got to do, there's not many players around, um, so yeah, we've, we've gone for it, they've had a free header, we've got it. Okay, Burgess has got it. He's going to roll, hopefully. No, he's gone long. Straight into Dominguez's his feet. He's going to slip in Fuerte. Who's good on his left. He's gone for his right foot and hit it wide. High and wide. Right corner. Let's defend it, boys, please. We have done your eye heads well. He's probably going to come back, though, Ronan. Who's tracking there? Serrano. He's not great defensively. He's been done. Cordoba heads half clear. He's probably going to come back again. See, this is what I mean here. If it was defence, if he was a deep line forward on support, he would probably be in this area here. But he doesn't start getting active and getting involved until we're in possession of the ball. Now, it is obviously a Trek Batista. I'm not asking him to do much in terms of defending. But for me, even if he was maybe just in here, just in here, and he could pick up a little, maybe a loose pass in here or something. But... Yeah, let me know down in the comments if you think it's a change we should make. Because Bogdan is in. Cross. He looked offside to me. He is offside. We've had a very, we've had a very, very busy first 15 minutes. Right, Bogdan. They've started the game. We've had a couple of chances, but they've had a real good start to the game, despite him being 1-0 down. Sola. Ortega. Back to Cordoba. We've got players going long. Clip it. No. Nope. Just need to put it in the air. Put it in the air and let Dominguez run onto it. It's all you had to do. Lombardi. Dominguez has done very well. Sola. He's gone long. That's what we kind of needed before. We're going to win it. We have. This was an awful highlight. 140 is in. 140. He loves a dink. But he's dinked it onto the bar. The cheeky chappy. Right. Cordoba, Fuerte, Cordoba, Williams, Serrano smashes it in, it's 2-0, what a 20 minutes of the game we've had here, is it on extended highlights? No, key highlights, just a busy 20 minutes, I think we look good, you boys let me know down in the comments as you always do, um, I'll also put I'm going to try and put comments from the previous video into the next video as well. So, yeah, by all means, let me know down in the comments what you think. But um, I think we look like a good team. Touch wood, touch wood. Right, free kick. Come on. We haven't conceded yet in the league. Pergosa saves. What a save from the youngster. He's on a 7.7. .7. Dominguez with the corner. Cleared. That's a bit of annoying because we're supposed to have a man stood there. We should have two men back because I've done set pieces. And do you know what I think it is, boys? Do you know what I think it is? No way. No way. It's also because I've put Munayin 
he's not playing, he's my set piece taker, and because he's not playing, the whole thing goes to pot. I had short free kicks, the lot put in. It's fucking penalty again. I don't believe it. I didn't think that was a penalty. Right, Lombardi this time. Pergusa, oh no, 2-1. That's annoying. Was it Nunes again? I think it was bloody Nunes again, you know. Giving him a 7.1 though. No. Say, okay, Pillow well, let's keep it going. We look dangerous. They look dangerous as well. I said a good side. I think they finished seventh last year, Granada. Here they go. Balde. Way up. Balde. We'll get that Cordoba. That's a terrible clearance. Lombardi. Febas. Block, 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 block. Why aren't we putting in a tackle? Why does the game do that? It just shows you them not making a tackle. And now they're blaming the goalkeeper. They're blaming the goalkeeper. So here. Tackle? Tackle? You're a ball winning midfielder. Tackle? Tackle? And then they're blaming the goalkeeper for that. Come on, boys. Right, last 15. Going to change it up. Uh, let's go... Let's go Pacheco up front. Uh, Dominguez is struggling just a little bit, so we'll have to go Marcelo. Pacheco on a deep line forward on support. Just see if we can drop off a little bit. Might just help out. Pacheco has got it. Free kick. Oh, wide. Wide. Corner. Oh, for the bar. It's going to be a draw, boys. 2-2. Two -two. Disappointing because we were 2-0 up. Really disappointing. But I think they would probably... Yeah, their XG is 2.53. They did have two penalties, to be fair. Um, but they did have some good chances as well. We've had a little bit more of the ball. Happy-ish. Happy-ish. Big thing though, Trek with Tista, deep line playmaker, uh, deep line forward. Uh, I've told them off, <laughs> bollocked them for that. Okay, but we've had a decent start. Still undefeated. Third in the league, Real Madrid are setting the pace. Again, as I normally do, they're very hard to catch. Just disappointing. Deportivo, by the way, are in the league. Um, we beat them convincingly in pre-season. What was it? 7-1 in pre-season. So yeah, that's a shame. We've got a little bit of a Valencia at home. I'd like to beat them. Getafe, Levante, two teams. Could pick up some big points over these next four games, hopefully. Um, we will come back. We'll come back for the derby. Haven't done the derby in a long time. We'll come back for the derby and Celta Vigo at home, I think. And then we'll kick on a little bit further as we get on through this season. Remember, no Europa League action. So we should go through the season a little bit quicker. Really obviously want to Copa del Rey run this year as well. And, uh, and yeah, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you smash the like on today's video. And we will see you on Sunday evening for the next episode of Basque Nothing. Take care. See you later. Lies and fade